meet Frances Severin, a lady who goes about massaging and rubbing away the aches and pains of her clients with her famous Frances Rub, an ointment she created using various secret ingredients. She is accustomed to getting good results after she massages the sick, but this one patient astonished her. Yesterday morning, I get a call on my cell phone. A lady from Goodland told me that she's sick. Somebody gave her my number and to call me so that I can rub her. I told her I have so many people today to do, I cannot do it for her. She told me, please, I need you. I say, okay, give me 15 minutes, I'll call you back. She had time called me before the 15 minutes. I think her daughter or her husband called and said that um, we need you to rub our mom because someone told me you're doing a good job. So I say, okay, I'll call. They called me before the 15 minutes. I say, okay, I'll be coming to you between 12 and 1. So I left my home. I drive down with my husband. I came to Goodland. Arrived Goodland, I said a lady on her bed. She cannot do nothing to herself. So I watch her. I pray before I touch her. That's what I always do in before I rub anybody. I pray. I pray, when I finish praying with the lady, I realize the lady has so much pain. When I start rubbing her, I told her what happened to her, what I feel on her body. She told me not to rub her heart because she has a lot of pain. I said, no, I have to rub her. I, but then I tell her back, I turn back, I tell her, you know what happened? You will just pay me for the jaw fixion and I will go, I'll not rub her. The patient, Rosalind Chandler of Goodlands, was quite ill for some time and could not understand what had happened to her as several doctors could not diagnose her sickness. It's about three months now. I went up to the States and see doctor and that I didn't get no relief. And that um, I come down to St. Lucia, I see about four different doctors. I go to Tapio, they say they don't see nothing happen to me, nothing. And I just suffering, I cannot walk, I can lift up my foot, I couldn't do nothing. My husband had to make a little, um, a little bench for me to up and down, and I couldn't do that. It's about three weeks I lie down there. Frances says prayers comes first before she checks out her patients. When I start robbing the lady, the lady start moving her foot, she now start turning on. I told her husband, boil a little chichima for me to give her some chichima to drink. That's the local chichima. He did it. I gave it to her, she drank it. She sat down, she drank the chichima, she moved her foot, she moved around. I am not scared because that's not the first person I rob and get up from the bed and walk. When I finished with the lady, she told me, God bless you, thank you. And the people was there, they prayed for her. And then, this morning I arrived here to see the lady. She told me that she walked from the bed to go to her bath. She cleaned herself. I myself got a shock to see that the lady left. Yesterday when I left, she was already moving out the foot. She already getting feelings in the foot. And she said she see doctors and they said they can't do nothing for her. And came back today. I see the Lord has a miracle in the lady life. And last night I dream. <laughs> last night I dream of a dream and it was the same thing I dream of. It's about the lady. And this morning, Alex, when I come here, I saw the lady. She's walking from the bed. She came out from the bed. She walked. Alex, it's a miracle life. And I think the Lord is talking to me, Alex, because it's, I don't know how to call it. Rosalind explains how she felt after the treatment. After, when she reached her, she said, I lie down there. And that lady put her hand on me. And <laughs> I tell her, no, leave me alone. I call her, Jalla, leave me, please. And she put her hand on me. About half an hour there, she told me and putting things on my body. About five minutes, I start to move my foot. I try to, she tell me to come down, walk. I try to put my foot down, they hold me, and I start to walk. How did you feel? I am feeling great. Tell me what happened this morning. This morning, I get up, I go to my bathroom. I call my, my husband was there. I tell him to take me to the bathroom. Because three weeks is my husband that bathing me in the bed. And he take me to the bathroom. I bathe by myself. And he stand up there. I walk back and I sit down there. And you couldn't do that? I, no, no, no. Three weeks I couldn't do nothing. 
And that lady put his hand on me and robbed me. And praise God, this morning I can walk, I can go by the stove and do something for my for my for, for me to eat. Frances admits she is no magician, but is a strong believer in God's healing power. If we are believing the Lord, we do something, we have faith and believe, it will work. If you have no faith, it will not work. And that's not the first person I have robbed and have been talking about me and saying about me. I said, no, I need to call and let people see what the Lord has done and what the Lord is doing and what the Lord has done for me in my life because I was paralyzed and today I'm back on my foot. After the healing session, the two women hugged each other, shedding tears of joy. Since then, Rosalind Chandler says she is back on her feet doing her daily household chores. That lady, that put me on my foot. It's not me, it's the Lord. The Lord. I trust in him. And the day that that lady come, my father follow her. And she put her hand on me. And today, I can walk by myself without the stick. Yeah. For Everyday People, I am Alex Bousquet.